regarding New Zealand. Wallaby Fuck Island. <laughs> now, you may remember last week we talked about the historically stupid legal battle involving that country's ruling National Party being accused of ripping off the eight-mile song Lose Yourself by Eminem, or as they call him in New Zealand, Eminem. <laughs> uh, our piece was actually brought to the attention of New Zealand's Prime Minister Bill English, uh, the very poorest man's Daniel Craig. And <laughs> it turns out he is not a fan. Have you seen the John Oliver piece where he mocks uh, the National Party for allegedly ripping off Eminem? No, I haven't. You intend to watch watch it? Uh, no, you know, for the sake of his audience, I hope it's funny. Some of the stuff I've seen he does isn't very funny. You really want to do this, Bill? <laughs> is, is this really what you want? Because. Need I remind you that when your fellow party member, Stephen Joyce, got dick smacked in the mouth by a rubber floppy cock <laughs> and then suggested someone send the gif over to John Oliver so we can get it over with, we ended that show with a flying dildo palooza. So careful, Bill, because when it comes to Kiwis, Johnny don't play. <laughs> and Bill English must know that the moment he mentioned my name, I was going to immediately find the stupidest, most humiliating things about him that I could. Like this actual photo of Bill English in a virtual reality headset, which makes him look like a masturbating cyborg. <laughs> or this indescribably lame video he made of his exercise routine. Well, about to head out for a, what I call a walk run, uh, where I walk up the hills and run. Uh, the downhill bits. This is one bit where I run. And bits like this, I walk. Uh, still walking and running this way. This is the bit where you feel fast. This bit makes you feel slow. <laughs> you know, after seeing that, I would give anything for Bill English to make a sex tape. Well, I'm about to head in for what I call a penis vagina. Uh, where I penis the vagina butts, and uh, she vaginas the penis butts. Uh, this is the bit where I penis fast, and this is the bit where I penis slow. Uh, stick around, this is gonna take a while. But perhaps the worst thing Bill English has ever been responsible for is this recent Facebook post where he writes, cooked dinner for the family last night, like if you agree with tin spaghetti on pizza, with photos of fucking canned spaghetti poured all over a revolting pizza he made. And I think I speak on behalf of all humanity when I say no. <laughs> Hard no there, Bill. I do not agree with canned spaghetti on a pizza because that is not a thing anybody should be doing. A divorced dad cooking for his kids on the weekend would not put canned spaghetti on a pizza. <laughs> the caterer for Chef Boyardee's funeral would not put canned spaghetti on a pizza. And let's not forget, Bill, you also added pineapple to that abomination. And that's not dinner, that is, and this is true, an actual hate crime. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, Bill? You made that to feed to your family? To your children, Bill? How are you not in prison right now? The point is... I'm sorry, the point is... I am sorry if our show is not to your liking, Bill English, Prime Minister of New Zealand. <laughs> Although, to be honest, judging from your pizza choices, if I appeal to someone with your level of taste, I would be absolutely mortified. <laughs> and you know, it's at times like these that a lyric from the song Lose Yourself <laughs> comes to mind. Yo, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mum's spaghetti. And <laughs> the reason those lyrics come to mind is though I would honestly rather eat Eminem's vomit spaghetti <laughs> off his sweater then can spaghetti and pineapple off one of your garbage pizzas, Bill. And now, this.